Okay, I'm here with Ed from Roland, who's got the new Phantom G8. And I'll just take a quick look at the part of the demo. It seems to do everything that a complete computer-based studio might do. Yes, sir. As well as the top-of-the-range keyboard. Can you just tell us something about it? Okay, right, right away you're going to notice the new screen. It's an eight and a half inch wide LCD screen. So the graphic interface is just incredible. Also, we have new USB, new USB features. You can hook it up to the computer, but also you can go ahead and rather than using a PCMCIA card adapter, you can use a thumb drive. And, you know, so that's really good. Also, we also have the ability to use a USB mouse. So now it really reacts like a digital audio workstation more than ever before. Some of the other new features included are the ability to record 128 different tracks, up to 24 of those being audio tracks right out of the box, you know, so that's something that's incredible. Also, uh, we have a Neutrik input right in the back, so we can go ahead and plug in our microphone, and we also have the ability to record with a condenser microphone because we now we support Phantom Power on the Phantom G. Um, can you tell us a bit about the sound generating capabilities of this? Because it seems that it does a lot more than the previous Phantoms. Yes, sir, there's a lot more. Uh, first of all, the sound ROM has been doubled over the previous Phantom X. And also, now we've actually gone into there with the SRX expansion boards we've taken from our 12 SRX expansion board and put the best of the best in here now. So now our organs are out of the box are even better, our strings are even better, some of the famous row uh, uh, bass sounds are in here as well. And also a new feature that we have is our brand new uh, action, a PHA2 action, which also is built to design. If you have moisture on your fingers, it helps whisk away the moisture, moisture so you get a more, a better feel. Right, right out of the box. I notice also that with the instrument you've got quite a lot of uh, modeling capability for reshaping the sound. Was that expanded much on what was in the previous Phantom range? Yes. We, now we're no longer on this one. We're no longer using the SRX expansion board. We're using a new type of expansion board called ARX which allows you to get all the ton organic tonal characteristics that we've never been able to get before, plus really nice graphic customizations. Uh, the drum one, for instance, now we can go in and edit each drum in a more graphical sense uh, that cut, you know our users are going to really enjoy, and we can just really get in there. Same thing with the roads. We can adjust all the different pickup types and the speaker types, and it's very graphical. I I'm not sure if you're able to see here, but it's very graphical and you uh, graphic, and you'll be able to see it on our website, and I think our users are going to enjoy it a great deal. So that's a little bit like the approach taken in the V-drums. Yes, it actually is. It if you're familiar with our V-Drums technology and, and the drum modeling, the ARX, ARX for the drums has that same type of screen, of graphic content, and we can actually adjust the shell depth, we can adjust the tuning, the muffling, you know, the mic pickups, so it's, it's, it's a lot more advanced and a lot more fun than ever before, you know. Very similar to a lot of the software programs, but now in a workstation. Oh yes, we have our c composite object sound modeling, uh, which we you know we've had for years now. We're known for, so I can have a guitar here and actually run my Phantom G as a guitar effects processor and still be able to play the keys live. So for my musicians out there that are recording or maybe doing double duty on the on the on the performance, they can play keys with all its effects and still have the guitar. Because remember now, the Phantom has the capability to have 20, 22 simultaneous effects at the same time. So you can mix your recording and come up with a final mastered track? Yes, we sure can. So 22 different master effects, excuse me, uh, effects, uh, also dedicated reverb, dedicated chorus, delay, and then also, of, once again, a mastering. So once we're all set with our tracks, uh, we can master it within here and then dump it out either through the thumb drive or directly to the computer uh, for burning and distribution. That's great. Thanks very much, Ed. Hey, Thank you very much.